Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy, and I'm so happy to see you here today. If you are new to my channel, I am a Twitch streamer. I'm a cat's mom. I'm a world traveler. I'm a former volleyball player. I'm a current crossfitter. I'm a weeb. I'm a geek. I'm a nerd. And I love learning new things. And the entire purpose of my channel is for me to broaden my horizons in the realm of music and listen to songs, bands, and artists I've never heard before. And so today we are continuing our queen journey and we're listening to a song called Stone Cold Crazy. Crazy. Now, we have done a few songs from Queen and I have really loved them. I recently just reacted to Live Aid by Queen and that brought me to absolute tears and emotion and I absolutely love that performance. So I'm excited to dive into more Queen today. So just a little disclaimer before we begin, I do not have a musical background. So if I say something that is musically incorrect, please feel free to correct me in the comments, but also please be nice. I am learning and you guys have been the best senseis I could have ever asked for on this journey. And remember guys, if you like my content, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it really helps growing content creators like me. So without further ado, let's get into the reaction. Alrighty, I see that this is a pretty short performance. It was live in 1974 so let's just dive right in this is a number on a sheer heart attack album stone cold crazy This guitar slaps. I love how heavy the guitar sounds so, so much. I'm not going to be pausing too much in this video, but I just had to say that right off the bat. That guitar is doing something to my soul. I'm really digging it. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this song so far. I, it's really... It's really doing something to me. I love how Freddy looks also. Freddy's just like vibing with his old outfit and his chest out and his hair. Oh my God, the vibe is immaculate here. So let's keep going. That bass. <laughs> Ooh. Hold on. I really like that end part. That dude. Okay, hold on. That was cute. <laughs> okay, that song could have been uh, 10 times longer than it actually was. I really like this song, the intensity, the flow of it, everything. This is Brian May's song with the guitar. Oh my God, that guitar sounded amazing. I enjoyed it so much. His little guitar solos and just the riffs. It's just so, so good. And then you have Freddy. You have Freddy going kind of acapella but only with the drums playing in the background and i i really love it the intensity of this song is so great and yeah i, I think this is a song i could listen to over and over and over again again just 
way too short. Like this needs to be like a five minute song. But at the same time, I think it also makes sense for it to be short because it is so intense. It is so heavy, but yeah, I loved it. I loved it so much. I really love this. One thing about Queen is they are so versatile. You know, we see Queen with Bohemian Rhapsody with the opera rock. We see them with some ballad rock. We see them with just rock, you know. And now we see them with some sort of heavy metal going on here. I, I feel the metal in this song and I enjoy this. I enjoy Metal Queen. This song absolutely kicks ass. And I, <laughs> I again, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I just feel like Queen is untouchable. They sound amazing and I, I've said this before in other live performances, but I cannot believe it is a live performance. It sounds like a studio, a studio version of the song. Like it's just so flawless between Freddie's vocals, the guitar, ugh, the drums and the harmonies. Stone Cold Craze. Oh my God, I love the harmonies so much. <laughs> and the harmonies with Queen are second to none, but this song just shows how fabulous they are. And I also have to give props to the bassist as well. Deacon, he is awesome and I just love how heavy and deep this song felt. But the parts where Freddie are singing and he is singing so intensely and so fast are so riveting, so captivating. And that's nothing new with Queen. Queen is just so amazing to watch. And I love seeing the this younger Queen, 74, 1974. It's, they're almost unrecognizable from from live aid already with the long hair and his uh you know 70s attire with the big chest out and all of that it is so fun to watch and i love seeing the different sides queen had i feel like queen was absolutely ahead of their time in the 1970s and 1980s the songs that they created the harmonies that they had the talent they had it's just all so unique and incredible and really fun to watch you cannot deny their cohesion and their chemistry and just how wonderful they are together the songs and sounds that they made together are just out of this world and there will never be another queen there will never be another freddie mercury and even in their older performances in the early 70s you can even see that that you could just see their uniqueness and how they just captivate everybody <laughs> there's just something about them it's not only the talent it's just something intangible about them just you, I can't quite put my finger on it, but I really love how charismatic they are, how they seem to be fully giving every performance and song their all. I just love it. They're so genuine and I, I could try to find the right words to describe them, but I fear I might fail. There's not one word to describe Queen, at least in my eyes. I think they are immeasurable and they are wonderful. I, I, I am seriously enjoying them so much. And there's been so much music I have enjoyed on my channel, but I can feel Queen seeping into my skin like day by day as I continue my journey and listen to their music. They are having a very similar impact to me as Pink Floyd has had with uh, with me. And same with Led Zeppelin, a lot with the, a lot of the older bands have had a huge impact on me and Queen is definitely no exception. I think another thing that absolutely stands out about Queen is that they don't need any theatrics about them. They just need them to captivate an audience. They, they just need their voices, their instruments, and everybody is at attention. Everybody is with them present in that moment. And I think even with cell phones and technology today, that it would be the same if they were to be performing today, uh, especially if Freddie were to be alive. In 2024, I think they would have the world just at their fingertips and everybody would stop what they're doing. No cell phone in sight. Everyone would just be focused on them. I believe they have the power to do that. There's no lights. There's no dancers. There's no pyrotechnics. There's no sparklers. There's there's nothing. It's just them. It's just them, the music and the crowd. And what well, it's so wonderful. They have such an intimacy about their performance. They 
they want you to see them. And I find that to be so genuine and so cool. <laughs> As usual, I can't wait to continue down my queen journey. I feel like this is a song I can listen to over and over and over again. And every time I will be really sad that it ended and I will just be hitting replay every two minutes because this song is so fun and awesome. But again, it's so short of like, oh man, this song slaps, but I love it. And I will probably be listening to it all the time on my way to work at the gym this is just a really really fun song and again they crush this performance sounds like a studio version of this song i can't get over their talent it's just unbelievable so i think that will do for today's reaction thank you all again so much for watching if you guys like my video please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it really helps growing content creators like me if you guys are interested in some of my other content or wish to support me in alternative ways please be sure to check out the links in the description box if you guys are interested in seeing me live on twitch I am live right now at twitch.tv slash daisyrpg. We just celebrated my birthday. That's why there's a bunch of balloons back here. We had a 48 hour stream with my little sister and it was such a blast. And with the stream, you would be able to see moments like this. Okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> The link to my Twitch is also in the description box. And last but not least, I want to give a huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you, patrons, so much for your contributions to my channel. You guys are the best. Thank you so, so much for everything you do for me. You guys are so wonderful and you have no idea how much you mean to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you wish to become a patron yourself, the link to the Patreon is in the description box. And as usual, guys, if you have any suggestions for me, please be sure to sound off in the comments or join the Discord. You can always sound off in the Discord what music you think I should react to next, whether it's Queen songs or other band songs I haven't listened to yet, or just new bands altogether. I am all about hearing your suggestions. Thank you all for being here, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.